The moment that so many had been waiting for has finally arrived, and the electric vehicle landscape may never be the same again. Tesla, the company known for redefining transportation through sleek design, groundbreaking battery technology, and relentless pursuit of autonomy, has finally pulled the curtain back on what could be the most disruptive electric car of the decade. After years of speculation, rumors, teaser statements, and false starts, the Tesla Model 2 is real. It is not a concept, not a maybe, not a far-off dream. It's entering production and deliveries are starting in the final quarter of this year. And if that weren't shocking enough, Tesla announced the price of the standard variant to be just $14,999. Yes, you heard that right. Less than $15,000 for a brand new Tesla, and not just any Tesla, a vehicle that can literally drive itself off the production line and deliver itself to your front door. This isn't some stripped-down prototype or urban-only city car. This is a compact electric vehicle with real-world usability, range, autonomy capability, and most importantly, mass-market appeal. And while some compromises were made to hit that unprecedented price point, the Model 2 is shaping up to be a masterclass in balancing cost and value. It is a product of years of behind-the-scenes planning, experimentation, and relentless iteration. In its second quarter 2025 financial report, Tesla didn't just announce earnings. It detonated a bombshell. Not only was the Model 2 officially confirmed, but Tesla revealed that the first wave of limited orders was already rolling off the assembly line. Even more remarkably, these vehicles would leverage Tesla's full self-driving technology to deliver themselves directly to customers' homes, bypassing the dealership model entirely. This changes everything. We're no longer talking about the future. We are living it. But what exactly does a $14,999 Tesla look like? What does it offer and more importantly, what does it leave behind? Is it a true Tesla through and through, or has it been watered down to meet the price tag? These are the questions people are asking, and in today's Torque Element Deep Dive, we're going to walk you through the complete breakdown of what makes the Tesla Model 2 not only revolutionary, but possibly the most important car of this decade. This announcement didn't come out of thin air. Tesla has a history of launching attention-grabbing vehicles and innovations every calendar year. Back in 2023, the long-awaited Cybertruck finally hit the roads. Then in 2024, the spotlight shifted toward two entirely different technologies, the fully autonomous cyber cab and the Optimus humanoid robot. Both were introduced in the critical fourth quarter, during Tesla's signature season for major reveals. That trend continues this year, and analysts had long suspected something big was coming in November, Tesla's preferred window for shaking up the industry. And now it's here. The Tesla Model 2 has officially stepped into the limelight, not just as a budget option but as a vehicle that could potentially rival the demand for the Model 3 and even the globally dominant Model Y. Elon Musk himself has made it clear, there is no upper limit to how many people might want this vehicle. The demand could be in the tens of millions annually, and Tesla's mission has always been about accelerating the world's transition to sustainable energy. The Model 2 might be its most important tool to do just that. The dream of an affordable Tesla has persisted since the company's earliest days. The Model S proved Tesla could build a premium EV. The Model X took that to extremes. The Model 3 brought pricing down to a more accessible level, and the Model Y cemented Tesla's place as a global EV leader. But for many, even those were out of reach. The promise of a $25,000 Tesla has been floating around for years, often referred to as the holy grail of electric vehicles. And now, Tesla has leapfrogged even that benchmark by nearly $10,000. Originally, the goal was to build a $25,000 car. That alone would have been a game-changer. But Tesla took things further. The result is a vehicle under $15,000. Less expensive than many gasoline-powered compacts on the market today. But how did Tesla make this happen? Especially considering that just a few years ago, most analysts doubted whether even the $25,000 target could be reached without drastic sacrifices? Well, sacrifices were made. But they were strategic, not random. Tesla didn't just gut its technology or skimp on safety. It rethought how cars are designed, how they are assembled, and how supply chains are managed. The company went back to basics not just to make the car cheaper but to make it simpler and more scalable. What you're seeing in the Model 2 is not just a new product. It's a new philosophy. And yet, the Model 2 still manages to capture the Tesla DNA. It carries a minimalist design that reflects the company's unique approach to functionality and form. It doesn't try to corner like a Model 3 or accelerate like a Model S. It wasn't built to be luxurious. It was built to be useful. Fun to drive. Comfortable enough. Capable of autonomy. 
and most importantly affordable for the masses. That's the core idea here. This car exists so more people can own a Tesla. People who never imagine themselves buying a new EV, let alone one with Tesla's batch. Think students, young professionals, families on a budget, gig workers, and even retirees looking to downsize. This is for them. Now let's talk about the design. The Model 2 doesn't look radically different from other Teslas, and that's by design. In fact, it shares visual DNA with the Model Y and borrows elements from the refreshed Model 3. Sleek front-end lighting, aerodynamic curves, and a smooth roofline all point to a car that fits naturally within Tesla's evolving design language. But it is smaller, about 30% smaller than the Model 3 to be precise. That means tighter dimensions, easier parking, and lower weight. The rear end has subtle cues that make it unique, but don't expect anything as wild as the Cybertruck or Cybercab. This is a four-door compact hatchback. No Falcon wing doors. No panoramic glass roof. Just practical, efficient form with a few premium touches like modern wheel designs and a streamlined light bar. Inside, Tesla went even more extreme with its signature minimalist interior. The dash is spartan, the materials are modest, and the physical buttons are nearly non-existent. The central touchscreen remains, although it's been scaled down from 15 inches to 12 inches to reduce cost. Door handles are basic. Ventilated seats are absent. Ambient lighting, rear seat displays, and other frills have been cut. But the essentials remain. Room for five passengers. A functional climate control system. USB-C ports. Wireless phone charging. And most importantly, access to Tesla's full software stack and over-the-air updates. Yes, this is still a Tesla through and through when it comes to software. Navigation, streaming, voice controls, autopilot, these features are all there. And thanks to Tesla's new 48-volt low-voltage architecture, the Model 2 may end up being more efficient and future-proof than even the current Model 3 or Model Y. This new electrical architecture is lighter, safer, and allows for better thermal management and faster data transfer. It's a foundational change that will shape the future of Tesla vehicles for the next decade. Of course, one of the most important questions people are asking is about the battery. How did Tesla build a car under $15,000 and still give it decent range and performance? The answer lies in Tesla's long-standing partnership with CATL, a Chinese battery supplier, and the use of LFP or lithium iron phosphate chemistry. Now, LFP batteries are not the sexiest in the battery world. They don't offer the same energy density as Tesla's 4680 cells, and you won't find them in the Cybertruck or the Semi. But they are incredibly reliable, safe, and affordable. Best of all, they last a very long time. And in the case of the Model 2, Tesla is expected to use a 53 kilowatt hour LFP pack that can deliver over 250 miles of range. For a vehicle at this price, that is almost unheard of. Even better, CDL's newest generation of LFP cells promises fast charging speeds. Up to 80% charge in just 10 minutes under ideal conditions. Realistically, in normal use, that number is closer to 20 minutes. But even that is blazing fast. It means that even though this is a budget EV, it can still deliver a premium charging experience. Drive up to a supercharger, plug in, grab a coffee, and by the time you're back, you're ready to roll. And because LFP batteries are more thermally stable, they're less prone to degradation over time. That means better long-term reliability for the Model 2. Again, a key selling point for budget-conscious buyers who want peace of mind without breaking the bank. Another big contributor to the Model 2's cost savings is the use of Tesla's proprietary manufacturing technology, specifically the 50,000-ton GigaPress. This gigantic casting machine allows Tesla to mold massive sections of the car's chassis in a single piece, eliminating the need for hundreds of smaller components. It reduces complexity, labor costs, and factory floor space. For the Model 2, which features Tesla's smallest chassis to date, the GigaPress is a perfect fit. By casting the front and rear underbodies as single units, Tesla slashes production time and builds a stronger, lighter frame. And that brings us to another key material, aluminum. Tesla has leaned heavily into aluminum with the Model 2, just as it did with its more expensive models like the Model S and Model X. Aluminum is roughly two and a half times lighter than steel, and by strategically using it in key areas, Tesla can shave hundreds of pounds off the vehicle's total weight. In fact, early estimates suggest the Model 2 could weigh nearly 2,000 pounds less than the Model Y. That's a dramatic reduction that improves not just range, but acceleration, handling, and efficiency. With less mass to move, the motors can be smaller. The tires wear more slowly. The regenerative braking system becomes more effective. Everything gets better. 
This is where Tesla's deep experience in automotive engineering pays off. The Model 2 may be cheap, but it's not cheaply made. It's smartly made. And here's the kicker. Despite all the cost cutting, Tesla still expects to produce at least 10,000 Model 2 units per week. That's over half a million vehicles annually. And because the Model 2 will share production lines with the Model 3 and Model Y at Giga Fremont and eventually Giga Texas, Tesla can achieve economies of scale that other automakers can only dream of. So, can Tesla really pull this off? Can it deliver a reliable, software-rich, good-looking EV for just $14,999? Based on what we know, the answer appears to be yes. There are trade-offs, sure. No ventilated seats. No futuristic yoke steering wheel. No insane acceleration. But if you want an affordable, safe, stylish EV that can handle your daily needs and maybe even drive itself in the near future, the Model 2 is shaping up to be the ultimate choice. The big question now is whether the rest of the industry can catch up. BYD, NIO, Volkswagen, Hyundai, they've all been working on low-cost EVs. But none of them have yet offered the complete package at this price point, with this level of technology, range, and brand trust. And with Tesla pushing the price boundary even lower than the long-promised $25,000 mark, the pressure is officially on. So what do you think? Is the Tesla Model 2 going to change the game like the Model 3 once did? Will it live up to the hype or is it simply too good to be true? Let us know your thoughts, and if you want to keep up with the latest in Tesla innovation, EV breakthroughs, and more industry-shaking updates, make sure you're subscribed to Torque Element with notifications turned on. We'll keep you in the loop every step of the way, especially as this mass-market Tesla starts hitting driveways across the country. This is Torque Element, where every 1,000 subscriber counts as part of the revolution. Stay tuned, because the electric future just got a whole lot more affordable.